someone found something of mine's been sitting there for 21 years in the ground, you know? Just, it's, I don't know, it's a mixed emotion. Well, hello again, guys. Welcome back to the channel, Tennessee Adventures. We have a great video for you this week. I was able to get out with my buddy, Tim, and do some metal detecting. He rocks the E-Track uh, Mine Lab machine. Found a bunch of different cool items. I was not expecting a lot of the finds I did this week, but we hit some real old spots and we did amazing. So uh, after this announcement of the giveaway winners, uh, I hope you watch the video and leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So I had a little giveaway coming up. I was gonna post this tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it uh, today instead. I gotta work today and tomorrow. So I decided the winners went through all the stories. I appreciate everybody taking your time to leave the stories in the comments. Everything was good. I, I loved all the stories are really good. Uh, I ended up picking four stories. I added another giveaway to my thing. So uh, the other giveaway is a uh, Calico uh, Gator Digger comes with a sheath and stuff so I decided to do four prizes so first winner that we have is gonna be the gator digger I have picked Southeast Tennessee digger congratulations got yourself a calico gator digger uh, really enjoyed your story thank you for uh, you know leaving a comment and telling me all about it uh, second person on the list for the next digger I uh, really enjoyed this story is Mary Witt Mary, got yourself a Garrett digger. Really good shape, and uh, hope you can get out there and do some digging. Okay, now on the gloves that I was talking about, there's gonna be the next person right here, uh, Clayton County History Hound. You had a really good story, enjoyed reading it. You got yourself some uh, really good uh, T-Rex puncture-proof gloves. So, congratulations on that. And then uh, I went through all the stories, enjoyed every single one of them, I think. Probably my favorite story out of all of them though. It, this was pretty tough having to decide who to pick for the detector. So out of everybody, the first grand prize, the metal detector, Striker Z60 from Kelco Metal Detectors is going to Austin McCow. Austin McCow, if I'm pronouncing that right, congratulations. I know you don't have a detector, but you had a really amazing story, and it was it's just like one of those stories you don't hear every day. So I hope you can get out with your kids. Congratulations on the newborns in October, and uh, congratulations to everybody that run. So if you guys won, please uh, leave a comment section below or send me an email at TennesseeAdventures1986 at gmail.com. You're gonna have to let me know who you are and what you won so I can make sure that I send this stuff to the right address. So congratulations again, guys, and thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to give back to you guys. So uh, go ahead and watch the video after this. We had a great hunt and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another uh, episode or video of Tennessee Adventures. I am at an old park today. I have not been to this one. We are in Gaffney, South Carolina. Uh, came out to do some metal detecting with my buddy Tim and uh, hoping to find some good stuff today. Rocking the Equinox 800 as always. As you can tell, it's a pretty decent park. It looks old. You got a, a lot of grass areas with some old looking trees. So just uh, have to keep trying our luck and uh, see if we get anything good today. So, okay, we will see you guys on the next no luck. Looks like my buddy Tim said he just got a rosy. I'm gonna make you uh, YouTube famous there, Tim. It was a really weird signal. It was, uh, I pulled a can piece out with it. Uh-huh. And I, on the, the E-Trick now it rang up like a maybe like a 1223, 1224, and pulled that, and then rechecked the hole, and there was a rosy. Oh, right next that's, to it. That's not even probably three and a half, four inches deep. Wow, that's a good find. Include too that you had that mixed signal with it right there. Yep. And Tim's running the E-Track over here. It's a hot machine. I don't know if it's good as the Equinox, but it could be better. Well. Uh, I think it's a 1962, which 1962. puts us in the right area. Well, good job there, Tim. All right. All right, see you guys on the see next, you know. 
So I was getting a really good signal right now, guys. I got a, it looks like a 26, about four to six inches down. Looks like I got myself a silver. Gonna wait for Mr. Tim to walk over here. He's coming to check out my silver now since I saw his already. <laughs> yeah, it was a 25, 26 mix signal, about, I say four inches down. Yeah. But I was getting a nice little reading in right here on the side. What do we got? A rosy. 1948. Looks like we're both on the board today with silvers. We're getting older. Yeah, that's good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just got this cool looking, I don't know if it's a padlock or what it is. Um, it's got these little hinges on it. Pretty heavy, bringing up a solid 30. Uh, when I flip it over on the back side, it looks like it's got a patented date with some type of writing. I may have to use my steel wool when I get home, see if I can clean it up. Kind of neat looking, though. Not sure what it is. If any of you guys know, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Alrighty, see you here in a little bit. So we are walking back over to where Tim is located. He said he's on the board again, so we will see what he got. You are YouTube famous again, Tim. I am the metal detectorist. Rockstar. Yeah. The wannabe. The wannabe. <laughs> I got this 12, 26, 25 signal, which pretty deep or whatever, probably about six inches. And uh, I'm going along and I, I kept chasing this signal all over and I got this nail out. And then I rescanned the hole. And down here, I don't know if you can see it, just right about there. Oh yeah, I see the edge of it. A little bit. Yeah. And it's, it's rimmed, so like I'm it. assuming it's another Roosevelt. So we'll so, see what you got here. Let me pull that out. That's a, that's a deep on. one right there. Yeah. And you can just see the rim sticking there too. Yeah, let's see if I can scratch it. Yeah, like I did on the back of my... It's very... Rosie. See that? Look, at there's a stone right there next right to next it. Right next to it, yeah. Come on, baby. All right. She's in the hole. Oh, we got, we got a Merc. A mercury dime. Look at that. What year you got? A 1916D. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was about to say. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. My eyes can't see it. Let's see what we got here. I don't know what that Turn is. Turn it around so you guys can see here. Uh, looks like we have... It's a 1942. Congratulations, 1942, Tim. 1942, and that's uh, out of the hole. Second one for the day. Nail and a silver in the same hole. That's why you always dig those mixed high signals, because you never know what you're going to get. So, alrighty guys, we'll, we'll see what else we can find. I'm going to head back over here to the hill that I was just on and uh, just try my luck. We will see you in a little while. Alrighty guys, so we got a good deep signal. It's ringing up as a silver dime signal. Uh, we're going to try our luck and uh, we'll do a live dig here. Tim's going to dig for you guys. You never know though, I've had a couple of those before and they end up being a bottle cap, but with his luck, it'll probably be a silver. So we'll see what he gets here. Pinpointing small. The E track silver whistle. That's all I like to about this park is the soil seems really soft. It's not like hard or anything. I thought it was going to be hard by the looks of it. But... Yeah. And, and it's I... ringing up pretty deep too, so I'd imagine possible silver. Well, with my luck, tree roots, huh? Yeah. Oh, I've been fooled before. Oh, no, look at that. What do we got here? Not a silver, but a memorial. A good old memorial. Ringing at six inches. That's crazy. Well, see, I told you. Part of metal detecting, you never know what you're gonna find. So alrighty guys, we will try our luck and uh, see you here in a little bit. So we are back again, my YouTube friends and subscribers. Tim got a good signal over here, and he believes could possibly be, what'd you say it could be? A Kennedy half. It was uh, ringing in as like a 647 uh -huh. on, in, on the E-Track, and I, I, it's definitely a half. It don't look silver. Yeah. See it right there? Right there. Let's see what he uh, gets here. Let's see what we got. Could be a token. Huh? I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh, it looks a Kennedy half. Heck yeah. Yeah, I don't know what year it is. 
Let's see what we got here. Bottom there. Let's see, you got a 1979. And and for nice. those and for those who think these are plants, here's the dirt with the opposite face that it came off of. You'd had to plant that like forever ago. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it's got the shape of the dirt. That's it. Good job, Tim. All right, my All second right. half of, like that of the year. Congratulations. All right, guys. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, guys, so we are at another park now. Tim is right over there. Say hi to everybody, Tim. He's a rock star. That's his saying right there when we get out. Uh, so it looks like I found a good luck token. I had no idea what this was until Tim told me about it. He said it uh, ranges from the 40s and 50s. Kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It's got some writing on it. I cannot read what it says, but that's pretty unique. This will be a first for me. Never found it before, so I'm going to add that to my collection. And uh, just keep trying our luck around here. It's an old park. We're in uh, Cow Pens, South Carolina. That's where they had a big battle back in the day, a war. Uh, if you ever watched the movie The Patriot, in one of the scenes they had the battle at a Cow Pens battlefield. So, And then right across the street here, it looks like you got a old meal. That looks pretty old also. And then I was talking to somebody else right now. They said these were old mill house sites back in the day right next to the railroad track so uh let's see what else we can find and uh we will see you in a little bit <laughs> funny so tim's walking over here to see what i found not really sure what it is some type of token it says five cents on it look feels like it's oh, old it's a token like it feels yeah. like Let's see what we got here. Can you read it a little bit? Here, yeah, I'll let you do it, because I'm trying to hold this steady here. Uh, yeah, let's see here. It says, uh, Home Service. Finance. Dunbar Street. Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yeah, it's a five cent token. I don't know how old it is. You'll have to date it when you get home. Yeah. Look it up, but very nice find. Pretty cool, nice. If another token I do not have, uh, we'll do some research when we get home and see what we can find. All right, see you in a little while. Alrighty, guys, just got another good signal ringing up as a uh, look like a twenty three twenty four. Looks like it says the dozer no cash value. Flip it over and it says that no cash value. Uh, not sure where this comes from. Uh, it could be arcade, could be anything. Not really sure. If any of you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. All right, we'll keep. Uh, Doing some metal detecting, and uh, let's see what we can find. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, doing another day here. We had a pretty good day the other day. Just got a little too hot. Came out here to old part of uh, South Carolina down here. Got some fairgrounds, and uh, my buddy Tim. It's right over there by the tree. Just got a first signal. Not sure what it is, but we will try our luck today and see what we can find. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. Looks like I just got my first good signal of the day. It's a 1940 something. I really can't make out the the number on this one's a little eaten up, but from the soil. But definitely a wheat scent. Uh, first one of the day is a wheat scent. So uh, let's see what else we can find. It looks like I got myself another wheat penny. I uh, really cannot get a date off this. It's uh, right there in the right hand corner, as you can see. But on the back, when you flip it over, you can see the one cent United States of America with a wreath on it. So, uh, second wheat penny of the day. Alrighty, see what else we can find. Hey guys, so I need to call uh, Tim back over here to the hole right there behind me. Looks like I got me a silver. So, we'll see his reaction and we'll see you on the next video. It's the metal detectors rock star. Alright, we got silver in the hole. I want to see it. I'm going to let you pick it out. Rosie, maybe? Uh, Rosie or Merck, one well, of the two. Yeah, I, this is the spot where everything dates to probably the 40s or 50s, so. Well, it's ringing up a nice solid 26. Yep. So I'll let you Let's pick see it what up. what we got. Oh, we got a Rosie, maybe. Yeah, we got a Rosie. What's the date on it? Uh, my bad eyes say maybe a 56. 56. 56 Rosie. I got it on my digger, of course, as always. Yeah, 1956. That's fine. Still silver, though. Hey, we're on the board. We're on the board. All right, so we're walking over here to Tim's spot. 
think he may have got himself some silver. What'd you get there, Tim? I think we're on the board. I'm possibly a silver. Not too deep. I just dug a wheat penny, probably five feet away right here. So I knew I was in the area. Yeah, I'll show it to you in the hole there. It's not deep at all. None of the coins in here were deep. It looks silver to me. Yeah, it looks like it to me. But, um, see what we got. You got a Merc? Oh, we got a Merc. Heck yeah, what, what do we got for a date? I'm not sure. My eyes, um, I can't see it. see. I'll let you look at that. We'll see if we can get a date off this one right here. 19, looks like 1913. Yeah, 1913 is what it says. 18 maybe? Maybe. It looks like a three though. Well, because I think um, Barber Dimes wear 19. Well, it could be an eight. It could just yeah. be an 18 then. Yeah. Still good find though. Congratulations. All right. We're, see. At, we're there. Yeah, we're there. Got some silvers. and Not too deep. Uh, if you show them the field out there, this is a parking lot and the old fairgrounds were all here dating back to the early 1900s. So anything goes here. I pulled Barbers out of here, Mercs. Yeah, there's good. I have a feeling there's more stuff out here, so good luck on your find. Thank All you. Right. We'll see you next time. All right. All right, here goes Tim showing off again. I'm just joking. He found another Dude. silver. Yeah, we uh, should have filmed it. I, I called uh, Wheat Penny. It was ring, ringing in like a 1242 on the E track. Um, pulled it out. It's pretty dark. I thought. It's that it, soil, what it is. Um, It's smooth, too. I think it's a Merc. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Heck yeah. It's smooth. Now watch, because it's this smooth, it's going to be a 16D, right? Yeah, it'll be I the one be that you've be... been looking for. <laughs> yeah, I won't get the D on it, though. Um, I can barely make out that date. What do you got? I have no idea. She's smooth. That's for sure. Uh, 1922, maybe? I think it may be a 22. It looks like a 2, or 25. It's one All of those right. two. Well, well. He's on the board again, guys, so congratulations to Tim. Yep, I call the wheat penny. I guess I'd, I'd like to be wrong in the right way today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on the next target. All righty, guys, we're back with Tim. Tim, you tell the crowd what you found. Uh, I thought it was another Jefferson nickel down about four inches, and uh, turns out to be a buffalo. Got a... I don't know, it's uh, not all toasted, which is really weird for this soil, but... I still can't date it, but you see the, Let's see the face here. on it there. Where's the date you see on the... The, the bottom left-hand corner there. Down right in there. Yeah, it's a little toast. It's kind of hard to see. I don't want to rub it or anything, but... Uh, yep, yeah. and on the back there, well, we can rub it. We got the buffalo. Heck yeah, congratulations, Tim. Right. This man is on a roll today. Yep, yeah, this is my new favorite corner. Yeah, you're going to keep finding more. So, alrighty, guys. We'll try our luck, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.